Hello, fellow travelers on planet Earth. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey. And I want to tell you what human design is about. Do you want to hear? It's um, actually something which changed my life. And it's my journey. <laughs> human design is about your journey. It's about you. It's about returning to who you are, to the way you were born, and to the way you're born to be. Human design is a revolutionary system for self-awareness. It's a synthesis of esoteric and scientific exoteric disciplines brought to the world in 1987 by Alan Krakwer, which took the name of Ra Uruhu upon an experience he had, which uh, he called an experience with the voice, who actually brought that system to his awareness. And in his turn, him being the clarion, the messenger, he brought the system to the um, public. So the human design system combines the 64 hexagrams of the ancient Chinese book of changes, the I Ching, the Hindu Brahmin model of the chakras, which in human design we call energetic centers, Kabbalah, the Sephiroth, uh, and astronomy, astrophysics, quantum physics, genetics, and statistics, which are actually quite um, um, a number, since um, it's this is a science for um, maybe let's say in the early nineties it, it really started to take over slowly. So. Um, Forty years, forty years of statistics, which um, there are, you know, seventy nine hundred and twenty unique points to be printed in the wheel, the rave mandala, which is this uh, circle here, and it has um, different combinations. There are those numbers here. You will see a little bit later, um, which are called gates, and there are 1,008 unique value characteristics in each gate, which gives us an infinite number of possible combinations that we people represent. And each of us has their own uh, specific, differentiated, unique body graph, uh, which shows us our inherent gifts. And also the places where we are um, can be tricked and trapped and um, find out about the other and the world and um, understand how we fit in it. So this is the rave mandala. And those are the gates which I was talking about, which it corresponds to hexagrams so inside the circle there are the western astrological uh signs uh in human design we use them for calculation mm, not as in astrology then the outside circle uh is the i ching the book of changes and the 64 hexagrams uh, which have the same binary structure as the genetic code with the 64 codons uh, which is um, the book of changes, you know, it's thousands of years old, uh, thousands. So the 64 codons uh, with their six amino acids, which correspond to the six lines, uh, which you can see here, those are six uh, yin, yang, and yin uh, lines, straight or interrupted lines. Um, something which was discovered much later. 
So by itself, that's mm, awesome and a fun fact. So human design is a self-study system and it is about the wisdom in the body. There is more wisdom in the body than in your deepest philosophy, Friedrich Nietzsche. Human design is a logical system that functions as a practical tool for self-discovery through correct decision-making coming from the unique intelligence of our individual body, body type, an energetic blueprint rather than the mental stress of the mind. With the human design, we discover system, we discover what we do differently from everyone else, our authentic self, and how we're designed to navigate the material world without resistance or on the least resistance path. Um, because human design is about aligning yourself to your correct frequency, uh, which is your most pristine natural state of being, which attracts um, the correct circumstances, people, places, um, which you're here to live through in this life and bring to um, the diversity of the universe with your uniqueness. Human design is about differentiation. The potential lies in differentiation. Human design reveals what the uniqueness of each one of us consists of, what resources we came into this world with, how to use the most valuably, and where we're inclined to deviate from our true nature. Guilt, shame, accusations, and fears, which limit us and um, are not protecting us, because usually fear is intelligence, it protects us, but guilt and shame and accusations begin to fade away because we cannot be and act as somebody else and justify ourselves for being who we are <laughs> naturally becomes meaningless. So it's um, really funny also how people um, try to explain themselves in different human design groups by, well, I'm like that because I have this and that channel or this and that center profile, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Uh, things from the human design body graph, uh, trying to actually uh, justify a certain behavior because of their nature, <laughs> which is funny because it's enough to just be, authentically be in the world. You don't need to justify it and explain it mentally. When we're born, we're truly authentic, but as we grow up, we're influenced by our family, culture, education, and environment, and we're conditioned to think and act in ways that often lead to meeting, meeting resistance because they come from a place of luck and from a place of I don't have. Um, and being caught in the traps of this guilt trip, uh, uh, accusations and shame, we start building our not-self strategy, which are our mental body. That is why in human design, we say that the mind is not uh, to be our inner authority. It's there to measure, compare, um, be an awakened passenger and an observer who can see the movie see our natural state of being in this world envelop rather than be trying to control um, the whole neurobiological uh, system that the body is, the surrounding and foresee uh, five, six, 10 steps ahead, like 
you're playing chess, strategizing on the material plane without letting the flow of life and the flow of your energy naturally swim with the current of the force around which to which we are reactive beings rather swim against the current by mental mm, hooks who deviate us from our mm, frequency from our path our correct geometry and um, thus help us get into the traps of our mind of uh, who looks as i said from perspective of luck as if we're missing something as if something's not good enough with us and creating a lot of pain a lot of misunderstandings and um, confusion and doubt in our self-worth because trying to identify with what we're not is of course going to bring us uncertainty it's not something we can control what we're not but by finding out what we are not we start to find out what we are then we start to come back to that frequency to that pristine place in us with which we are connected with nature with the force with the higher self with god the gods and our higher self whatever you call it so it's human design is logical system it's a practical tool it's um the mechanics of what it is to be human it's the energetic inside our body and it's the wisdom which we ourselves can experiment and find out for ourselves how it works for us and how do we fit in this system this is the science of the mechanical structure of the nine centered being which we are homo sapiens in transitus the science of differentiation and individual transformation as um the chakra system the hindu brahmin system says we are seven centered and in human design we are nine centered being it, evolution has taken us to mm, spiritual and emotional awakening of a kind which is actually very physical in the body as well since our emotional system is undergoing mutation which will take us into the new era of the sleeping phoenix so-called the awakening of the emotional uh, and spiritual um, seeking and abundance of natural life force energy for recreation and um, for transformation and life and um, spirituality but also the most in the most physical and bodily um, way of recreation through the um, spark of life um, for those who since this is an introduction but i went a little bit deeper uh, for those uh, who know more about human design i'm talking about the 55th and the 59th gate uh, for the rest, watch more videos and you will find out what I'm talking about. The gates I already mentioned uh, in the Rave Mandala Will. So we are Homo sapiens in transitus and um, the body graph and its elements with the mathemat mathematical precision are able to decipher the mechanics of what drives and moves your personal development, potential, partner relationships, family and group dynamics 
and possibilities for professional fulfillment. This is what human design can be of value practically in your everyday life. The body graph, this is mine, is a map, an energetic blueprint, which contains 26 activations, 13 planetary imprints. You can see on both sides in red and in black. Nine energy centers, those geometrical figures are called centers, energy centers, the chakras, uh, 36 channels. So when you have activation between uh, in one energy center and activation in the other energy center in the gates, it's colored, then there is a constant communication between those two through this uh, channel. It's called the channel, this line. So we have uh, 36 channels, 64 gates, different gates or hexagrams, six lines and three levels of substructure behind the line. So if we have the 49 gate in the first uh, line, uh, second, uh, base color tone, third, six, and so on. The definition refers to what we, um, what will be stable and consistent in life. And you, you can see it's very differentiated. Like one gate has um, three, six lines and three levels of substructures, each with six lines and the base has five lines. So 1,080 combinations of each gate and we have 64 gates we have um 26 activations in our individual body graph 13 planetary imprints nine energy sensors you see it, we are very very differentiated individual and thus we are actually um very limited in our perspective we have a very individual different from everybody else's limited to our own cognition perspective. That's why when we go to a certain event, to people, to different people, and then we might be telling friends about this event, it's like one person has been to one place and the other person has been to another place because one person is attuned more to the way things look, the other to the way things smell or touch or sound or whatever you're Cognition is most um, developed and sensitive to. The definition refers to that, um, which is indeed very fixed in us. Uh, so in a way, it's limited. Uh, and what is stable, what we can rely on, what we're born with, our uh, genetics and uh, what we bring as... Um, an energy influence and blueprint also to the to the world. We influence the world with our energy. The openness or the whiteness in, in our body graph, in our chart, are the places where we are here to study about, where we're in school. It's where we get conditioning, influence, and um, energetic uh, impact from others that we take and from the outside world and the opposite attracts us so our openness is what our mind wants us to be and define us but by what we're not because we are not the inconsistency in ourselves we are the consistency and what we make out of the inconsistency so we are nurture versus nature versus nurture and the true authentic self is a byproduct of your natural state of being and not of your conditioned um mind trip if we can say that. So this is how unique we are. If we take 13th gate, 
uh, it has six lines here, the six lines, six colors, um, six tones, and five bases. So 1,080 variations of the same gate. We also are inherently a duality. We are binary between the red, which is three months or uh, before birth or approximately 88 degrees um, before the sun entered in our um, personality sun. And the black calculations, which are at the moment of birth. So the red shows our biogenetic heritage, the body, the unconscious, and the black shows us what we think we think we are, the conscious, the immortal soul, and the meat suit. Imagine if you're in a body of a bigger being and you're with the soul of a diva, ballerina, to be difficult to get expression of your mm, sensitive soul in that big body and the reflection in the eyes of the others can be something you mm, don't want to see. And it can be ultimately a dilemma. You can see here the, um, actually the activations in the body graph on both sides. And the combination of those two gives us the full picture. Here we have a combination of those two and a reflector chart. Our strategy is there to align our lives with the correct geometry, to eliminate the resistance and provide the great challenge to the individual to be aware of what's going on. Be observant and love yourself. Find out about your um, body graph uh, and check out your type. See if you can find out about your inner or outer authority, depending on your specific energetic blueprint. And tune in, maybe experiment, try for yourself whether this might be something for you or not. Would you like to? I invite you to learn about this system because it's a uh, new generation um, navigation system and it can give you a different perspective on the world, on yourself, on your relationships, on how to fit and find your place, find the right place, the correct environment and connect to that place in yourself which can always be your safe place your anchor of how to be correct from a loving place of loving yourself and thus being open to loving others or not and be okay with both but you cannot give something you don't have right so loving yourself opens up the possibility of loving others being in love in this universe of love <laughs> we're coming out of place of a place we feel it's love and we go back to it but in this world we live a binary we live in a duality and in a constant search for that love for that unity with the totality in the illusion of separateness but with a differentiated view so sharing is in a way 
being unique together with the other. I invite you to share yourself with the world, but first start with yourself and your chart, your own body graph. Humandesignjourney.com is my website. Mm, you can like and subscribe my YouTube channel, Instagram or Facebook page with the same name and uh, find out how to make your body graph and to find your type. This is Veronica with Human Design Journey. And if you have any questions, I love questions and I love answering questions. <laughs> so write in the comments. Do you want to? <laughs> or not? Bye for now.